All right, so let's start this broadcast with the big story that we are tracking and we all know this are, and this of course is coming from the state of Texas in the United States, where thousands of people still remain without power and water as the icy storm has hit the state of Texas. Now, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has said that all power generating plants in the state are now back online. The reality on the ground, however, is very different. Some 300,000 households still do not have power. This is down from about 2.7 million on Wednesday and more than 13 million Texans are seeing interruptions in their water services. We have already begun the process to make sure that events like this never again happen in Texas. And that starts with reforming the agency in charge of, a, of electric reliability in Texas which is ERCOT. What happened this week to our fellow Texans is absolutely unacceptable and can never be replicated again. And it's especially unacceptable when you realize what ERCOT told the state of Texas. They said five days before the winter storm hit, the ERCOT CEO assured ERCOT, and I quote, we're ready for the cold temperatures coming our way. The Texas governor has also raised some eyebrows when he went on American television and blamed renewable energy, such as wind and solar power, for the failure of the grid. Now, it is not just the governor who has come under fire for his handling of the situation. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz also faced heavy backlash after he was spotted flying out of Cancun with his family in the middle of the crisis. The Republican then cut his trip short after his travels were reported and said that he was returning to get to the bottom of what had happened. But the lack of power has cut off water supplies for millions of people. It's also strained hospitals' ability to treat patients amidst the pandemic and has isolated vulnerable communities with frozen roads that are still impassable in many parts of the state. All right, now to give us more perspective in terms of what's actually playing out in the state of Texas in the United States, we're joined in by Jagruti Dave. She's joining us live from Washington, D.C. Jagruti, what is the situation like in Texas? Have things got better? Yeah, I think power outages are expected to continue over uh, the next couple of days. We are hearing that, um, you know, millions of people as of Tuesday um, four million households in Texas had lost electrical power which is quite extraordinary we're also hearing that many uh, residents in the state have been told to boil their water before they drink it because the water that comes out of their taps is not drinkable and this is an absolutely dire situation for many households to be in some of the pictures we're seeing uh, you know on social media you're hearing comments about people saying this isn't a third world country this is Texas you know that's the sort of uh, shock that people are expressing um, in uh, in the state and when they see pictures of people lining up to try to uh, get water supplies. Um, and as you were saying um, there, the governor there is uh, laying into uh, renewable energy sources, blaming it on wind and solar being shut down. But the problem is that um, Texas relies on natural gas for the majority of its energy. And where uh, renewable energy sources, wind turbines, for example, have been used in northern parts um, of the country in states like Alaska and also other countries like Greenland. They are prepared for wind frozen turbines and they uh, make sure that um, there's enough measures taken place so that uh, these renewable sources can still continue uh, despite the winter weather. And this is one of the issues that's happened in Texas is that they, uh, because of its deregulated energy supply, it just wasn't prepared for uh, a bout of winter uh, uh, energy uh, of winter uh, of bad weather that they're seeing right now in bad weather is an understatement it is um absolutely frozen there. People are um, huddling together for warmth. You're hearing stories of people sleeping in their cars uh, to try to keep warm because there's no heating in their homes. So a real, really dire situation for uh, Texans uh, right. you know, over the last few days and it looks like oh, in the coming days as well. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.